Hey there, welcome to the next installment of Make It Monday with Paper Tray Ink. This is Betsy Veldman. Today I'm going to share a technique with you that I like to call tissue paper texture. It's just a fun way to add some texture and change up the look of pattern papers or even add it over stamped backgrounds. So let's get started. So I used this technique on the pattern papers on my card here. I used the blue from Road Trip and the red and white dot from Beautiful Blooms. And you can see how on my card they're a lot more muted than they are just plain on their own without the tissue. So to start off, I'm going to start with my blue from Road Trip. And it's 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and a half. And I'm going to cover the front of it with some liquid adhesive. It's just a clear drying liquid glue. I want to get a good coat on there, and I'm too lazy to wash out paintbrushes, so I'm just going to use my finger. Just kind of cover the whole piece with a nice thin coating. Now I'm going to take my tissue paper, and I'm going to crumple it. And this is actually just um, a piece of vintage pattern tissue, but you could easily use any color or any kind of tissue that you can just find at even the dollar store. So then I'm just going to lay it over top of my pattern paper with the adhesive on it and I'm going to just smooth it out. I don't want to smooth it too much. I want some of those wrinkles to show. So I'm going to move on and I'm going to do the same thing with my red and white polka dot piece. I'm going to cover the front of that with adhesive also. Alright, so I've done the same thing with my red and white polka dot. I've put the tissue paper over the top, and now I'm going to just run them through my Big Shot. I'm not going to put any dies or any impression plates over the top or anything. I'm just going to put a piece of scrap cardstock over the top, and I'm going to run them through my machine. This just kind of flattens it out a little bit and really um, gets that tissue paper um, to look like it's actually part of the pattern paper. And it makes that adhesive really stick to the tissue. I'm just going to peel it off of here. The adhesive was a little wet yet, so it's sticking to my cardstock a little bit, but I'm just going to peel it off. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim around the edges of my pattern paper to get rid of all that excess. I'm just going to use a scissors and go around the edges. Alright, so my papers are all trimmed, and really that's all there is to it. It's a very easy technique for, like I said, adding texture and changing up the looks of pattern paper. You can see how now my papers have taken on a real vintage look. And now I'm just going to adhere them to a piece of postmark pattern paper as a background. Put my red down at the bottom. I'm going to put a piece of score tape across there and I'm going to add a piece of lace. There's my lace. I'm just going to stick it on top of my score tape. Now I'm going to adhere my blue piece of pattern paper, the map print from Road Trip. Here I have a label that I've die cut using the angled labels die, and I cut it out of some postmark pattern paper. And I'm going to trim off the top edge of that with a, a decorative scissors. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere it to the top left corner of my card. It's just kind of a fun embellishment. And then I'm going to do a little stamping. I'm going to stamp the sentiment. Um, it's a Hello Friend sentiment from Think Big Favorites number three. I'm going to use True Black ink. And then I'm going to add a postmark image from Road Trip also using True Black ink. I'm going to put that in the upper right hand corner of my card. And 
Now I'm going to do some stitching around the edges, so I'll be right back with that. All right, my stitching is done. So now I'm going to add some twine. I'm going to wrap twine across the center of my card a couple times and tie it into a bow. And there's my bow. Just go ahead and trim the ends a little bit. I'm going to add a couple embellishments. I have a felt star that I cut from fine linen felt using Seeing Stars Die. Go ahead and put a little adhesive on that and add that over top of my angled label. And then I have a scarlet jewel button that I'm going to adhere over the star. Alright, there's the front of my card. Now I'm going to adhere it to my card base. My card base is four and a quarter wide by five and a quarter tall. Alright, and there's our finished card. Um, like I said, it's a really easy technique, just kind of a fun way to add a little um, texture and distressing to some of your pattern papers. I wanted to real quickly show you some variations of this technique if you're not into the distressed look. Here's the pattern paper from Beautiful Blooms, and you can see the one is just plain, and this one I put the craft colored tissue like I used today, and on this one I used pink just totally changes up the look. Here's the white, um, or the red and white polka dot paper that I used on the project today, but instead of putting craft tissue over the top, I did just a plain white. And here's some plain white cardstock that I used bright colored tissue over. It just adds a fun texture. It'd be fun to die cut some shapes from that to use as accents on a card. All right, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video and today's technique, and I'm looking forward to seeing your take on the tissue paper texture. And thanks for watching. This has been Make It Monday with Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc.